In this episode, I want to talk about the retiming tools in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm in the edit page, and this is our traditional source record viewer. I'm going to change that to a single view. And let me show you the timeline settings. So in the project master settings, we've got our timeline set to 25 frames per second, and our playback is 25 frames per second. Now, this footage was actually shot at 50 frames per second. So if I play this clip here and just press play, it plays back in real time. So this is my 50 frames per second and it just looks regular. Now, if I bring that down to my timeline, even though this is a 25 frames per second timeline, it still plays back in real time. And this is because those 50 frames are still playing back in one second. So what I could do is take all these clips, right hand click and go to clip attributes and then I can change the video frame rate. Now I'm not going to do it on all the clips because I want to show you something else. So I'm going to do it just on the first clip. I'm going to right hand click, go to clip attributes, and in the video frame rate, I'm going to bring that down to 25 frames per second. And say okay. So now if I play back this clip, watch what happens. So it's now redistributed those frames to give me a really smooth playback. And if I drop that straight into the timeline, that literally plays super smooth. Now, the other clips on the timeline are still set to 50 frames per second, so they're going to play back in real time. Now, we don't have to change the frame rate at clip attribute level. You could just literally change each clip on the timeline and you get exactly the same result. So I'm going to right hand click here. I'm going to say change clip speed. I'm going to make this 50 percent. And press change and that will now play back perfectly smooth like it did before. Now what it's done there is kept our edit duration. So the actual clip duration hasn't changed at all. We're just seeing half the clip now. We're seeing much less of the clip because it's playing back slower. If you want to see the entire clip, what you can do is, let me just undo that, is go to change clip speed and press ripple sequence. And what that will do is move all the other clips up in the timeline, making enough room for the speed change that you're doing. So let me just type in there 50%, press change, and there we go. So that clip moved up and we've got now our entire in out point that we selected at source, but playing back at half speed in super smooth slow motion. Now, let me undo that because there's another way of doing this as well. What you can do is right hand click here and say retime controls. Now in the retime controls, we've got a pull down menu here and we can change our speed to any of these fixed parameters here. So if I press 50%, you see that it changes the duration of the clip. So I've still got the whole clip playing but it's now overwritten this clip here. This clip didn't move, it didn't ripple. So I'm going to undo that. And in order for that to work with a ripple, what you need to do is change the mode from here to this trim mode here. So I'm going to go down to the arrow, change speed and select 50%. And now we get the ripple on the timeline. So because we're in the retime control, we can add extra speed points. Now what I want to do is play back this clip and just before that bubble gets popped, I want to slow the clip down even further. So I'm just going to go to the right point, somewhere around about there, and I'm going to say add speed points. And what that's done now is split the clip into two. So we've got 50% here and 50% here. So I'm going to make this side 25%. And now if we play that back, We've got our really smooth 50 and then we're going to go down to 25 just before the bubble pops. Now I want it to be a little bit closer than that. So I'm going to make an adjustment. Now I don't need to undo this. All I need to do is grab this icon here. Now the top icon will allow me to change the framing at the point it changes, but it will change the actual speed change itself. I don't want to do that. I want to keep that at 50%. So if you grab the bottom part here, it retimes the clip and keeps your speed change. So we still keep our 50% and our 25%. And I've just got to find the frame just before the bubble pops, which is about there. So let's go back and play that back. So now the speed change is happening just before that bubble gets popped. So using this tool gives you real accuracy. So let's just have a look at that one more time. So we're playing through really smooth. And then the cut point, it's a great cut point, but we've got a little bit of strobing going on on the image, and that's because we're now at 25%. So a good way to address that is to go up to your inspector, and down here at the bottom, you've got retime and scaling. Now the default is to use the project settings, which are basically the fastest processing, but not the best quality. So if we select our clip, come down here and change this to be frame blend, let's have a look at that first. 
So you can see we're getting a little bit of doubling of our arm. It's not perfect by any stretch. You can see that on the freeze frame even here. So let's have a look at something else. We can have a look now at optical flow. And this is a far more intelligent way of interpolating the frames that need to be made in order to run smoothly at 25%. So let's play this one back. Now this is quite intense on your GPU, but that's actually doing a really good job of that. Now that seems like a really simple fix, but the thing to watch with optical flow is it can do strange things to your image sometimes, depending on the image. So you can just see here, we've got a doubling of this, uh, whatever this is called, a bubble maker thing. It's actually duplicating here. So there's one other thing that we can do to try and clean this up. And if we go to our motion estimation, you can change the settings here. So we've got all these different options, uh, standard faster, standard better, enhanced, and let's try enhanced better. And that's fixed that straight away. And that's gonna give us a really good result now. So let's play that back. And that looks really smooth, that looks great. Now there is another tool that you can use if that doesn't work. And this is a really intelligent tool and it's called Speed Warp. And this takes it to the next level and Enhanced Better often works, but if it doesn't, Speed Warp is your next tool to try out. Just be careful, this is a really processor intensive. I'm on a big spec Mac here and that probably won't play back in real time. Yeah, there you go. These are 4K clips. So that's all fixed and looking great. And I'd probably choose the Enhanced Better out of these, but just to keep the Speed Warp on, just to remind you from an earlier episode, what you can do is just right hand click in here and say Render in Place. And what Render in Place is doing is it's rendering that clip at the timeline resolution and it's then gonna replace it on the timeline. So I've now got absolute real time playback. And there's our 25% point. And should you need to change this later, you can right hand click in here and just say decompose to original and you're back where you started. So I hope that helps you get the best out of the retime tools. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.